All right, so uh, we're going to just go through a few examples of some maths uh, working out. So this is some stuff that we practiced last term, but I'm conscious of making sure that we um, are able to work through it again. Now, there's a lot of sums in your booklet that I'm more than happy for you to use a calculator with. Um, so if that's how you want to work at the minute, go for it. But um, for some manual stuff, just as a reminder, when we're doing our addition, we always want to start at the right-hand column. So we're going to do 3 plus 5 first, which would give us 8. And then once we've done uh, the right-hand column, then we're going to do uh, the left-hand column. So we're going to do 1 plus 2, which would give us 3. And that's a really nice, easy example where it's just two pieces and there was no carryover. So then let's do another one where there is carryover. Okay. So in this sum, we still start with the right-hand side. So we're going to do 8 plus 7. And when we do the 8 plus the 7, that's going to equal 15. So the 5 is going to have to go in the first column. And this 1 is going to have to carry over as a plus 1 on the um, next column. And then once we've done that, we're going to move to the second column which will be the 3 plus the 2. And once we do 3 plus 2, we get 5, but we have to remember the carryover at the top as well. So we've got 3 plus 2 plus 1, which is 6. Um, then we go to the third column, and you'll notice in this column we only have something in the uh, top row, and we don't have anything underneath. So what we're going to do is just put the 1 there. There's nothing for it to add with. Okay. So that's our uh, basic addition. Um, if there's any problems, send me a photo and I can uh, help you to work through.